what is happening traders welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be actually telling you the reasons why i prefer not using indicators and robots so without wasting any time let us get on with so it. basically when i first got introduced into forex trading right so i actually used a lot of indicators and i tried to actually follow the big banks by you know using moving averages uh tdis all those um indicators right until i actually met up with one trader from overseas right and um that trader actually told me something he was like yo bro um I've, i actually bought um I don't know how many indicators i don't know how many robots i actually spent thousands and thousands of um of of dollars buying indicators like ever since i started to trade forex i've been buying indicators bro you know because i thought you know they 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 were the easiest way for me for me to actually make money in forex trading and what he actually said is those things didn't work for him like he actually said now not even one indicator not even one robot actually worked for him right so back then i actually believed a lot in you know indicators when i'm drawing probably my uh my trend line probably i would expect price to actually pin a certain moving average you know all those uh indicators combined right so he actually told me that bro indicators don't really work i've tried them i am a victim of this kind of stuff right so there was when i was like yo if this guy has bought like a lot of indicators and he has actually spent thousands and thousands of indicators so that really means that indicators don't really work and quick quick disclaimer i'm not trying to do actually do actually uh you know judge people who are using indicators it's 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 your it's your craft and stuff like that if it makes you money then cool but i'm just sharing my own story where this guy said he actually never made any money out of like indicators right so that was when i actually developed um the mindset of of um having naked charts right that was when i was like oh okay um so if indicators don't really work then maybe i should try and um you know switch to trading pure price action you know maybe i should actually try to actually trade the naked charts that is why most of the time all of the time you are actually going to find my charts actually naked like i don't even have not even one indicator on because you know i trade pure price action like naked charts right so i read price action i let price tell me what it actually wants to do in the future by looking at what it has it, it has already printed previously so i use that to predict its movement in the future so that was when i was like oh okay um so let me try out price action because you know m most of us when we get introduced into forex trading we get introduced to trend lines price action basically but you know as as we grow um in this industry we then start you know hearing people saying this robot blah blah made me this much this indicator made me this much, and then we then start switching from you know from pr price action and you know going over to robots or indicators you know because we think it is a quicker and easier way to make money in forex trading right so one thing i can actually guarantee you is that you cannot build a strategy based on indicators right especially when you are not the one who actually made that indicator right a forex trading strategy has to be like your baby you have to know the ins and outs of that strategy right so let us say you're actually using this indicator to confirm your entries or to to actually find a zone or to actually find this and that and then probably you keep on going bent you keep on getting bent you keep on getting bent you are not really going to know what to fix whether you need to fix that indicator i don't know how you're going to fix it since you're not the one who created it right so like that's what i'm trying to say like your strategy you have to know your strategy from the ins and outs so that when it actually starts to act up on you you know which passion which buttons you actually need to press or to push in order for you to to, to make the strategy work again right so um the opposite thing actually applies when you are actually using indicators right so you won't know whether you you know you need to change this and that i mean not all of us are it specialists you know you won't know whether you need to adjust this and that on that indicator blah 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 because you don't even know how it was actually built 
right so just try to understand your start the more you actually understand your strategy um the more you are actually going to be able to fix mistakes because like i said in forex trading it is all about and identifying mistakes and learning from your mistakes there is no holy grail trading strategy right you take you take uh, a, a strategy and then you try to you know even if it has a, like a 10 percent win rate i actually released a video where I, I actually said um when i first started to trade using other blocks uh, the strategy was actually somewhere around 15 had a 15 percent win rate kept on losing trade and ever since then i've been doing those one percent tweaks those one percent tweaks those one percent tweaks till the strategy came alive till it was way past um the 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 50 percent win rate so there is no holy grail strategy you actually start um uh, with your strategy from the bottom and then you actually you know build it up a bit as time goes on so it's all about learning from your mistakes and making sure that you don't repeat those one and same silly mistakes the forex market is way too deep and way too broad to be actually understood by a robot right there is my own understanding right if you have your own concept of you know actually describing it so i don't care you can go ahead and judge but i'm actually talking from experience i'm actually talking from what i've actually um from i've actually noticed in the past right so that is why 90 percent of people in forex trading 90 to 95 percent of people in forex trading actually lose money right because the for the forex market is just way way too deep to be actually cracked by something that has been created by a human that is my own understanding right so try to try to actually understand that um you cannot cheat you cannot actually cheat uh the the market right you cannot actually cheat the market you need to understand the market like in a way that that you never really thought you'd actually understand it you need to go in deep you need to go in deep you mustn't just look at a trend line and say okay first touch second touch third touch can the stick pattern and then price is going to reverse you need to actually find out why why they why on the third touch why they is there anything that i can and then you need to sort of like start digging things start digging things and then you know trying to understand uh, why price is actually doing this and that you know maybe price was actually at a round number or maybe price was actually at this certain zone you know you need to go in deeper right so for me it's like i don't think a robot can go in deep enough that's just my own observation so come to think of it like i always say forex trading is all about consistency right you need to make sure that okay i'm quitting my job or i'm quitting um college for forex trading because i now have the skill to trade right i now have the skill to trade but you know can you really quit your job or college for a robot or for a certain indicators right let us say that indicator actually works like you bought it a, a couple of days back and then you're seeing it working right so come to think of it do you think it's going to be working in the next five years or in the next 10 years or stuff like that if it starts giving you problems how are you going to be able to actually fix it since you're not the one that actually created it right but if you know your strategy start starts acting upon you you know you, you then start you know to see okay um maybe the way that i'm actually throwing my zones is actually not that much okay or the way that i'm actually um counting my lower lows and higher highs or maybe the way that i'm actually throwing my trend lines is actually inaccurate so i need to change that and then you know i need i need to back test it again stuff like that and another thing i don't really think you can actually back test um when using an indicator because um indicators they actually lack in the past they will actually uh make you see what you want to see and i believe that each and every forex trader has to do some back testing at least once a week probably say in a weekend you know like that forex trader would then take the trace that he or she took on on that particular week and then you know just see what really happened you know and stuff like that like if he or she won those trades okay he'd actually write that down and be like okay yes 
the rules were actually followed blah blah all of, all of those things and then if he lost the trades okay i lost this one and then take taking all of those losses and finding finding whether those losses have something in common and if they have something in common then that is the mistake that he has to try and not repeat the same time so that is my own opinion when it comes to trading with indicators and robots i'm not saying you mustn't trade with indicators if it is working for you bro then you know go for it then trade using indicators as long as you are making money um in the long run right i, I don't really care whether if you're making money like right now but you know as long as it's been consistently making you money that's that's all that matters because um forex trading is all about you know longevity you need to be here in the long run you need to be here after five years you need you need to feed your family even after five years right so um i hope <laughs> i hope some of you guys who are using indicators uh, won't judge me bro like i said this is my own observation and i hope i hope that if indicators are not working for you then it is time for you to actually see that you need to switch over to naked charts so that is the end of this video if you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please do see you next time